What is going on guys, this is John here, first comment on YouTube. And today, after a long time, I have another Java Minecraft plugin development tutorial for you. And this is going to be about permission nodes. And um, I already recorded the tutorial, which really didn't go too well. And I'm not a big fan of Java at all. And I'm just going to get you a little look at how the, you know, the tutorial or the video before this one ended. So... I'm sorry, but okay, headphone users, watch out. Ah! I don't want to post this! Horrible! <laughs> okay. So, I guess we're gonna try this again. Um, I raged a little bit at Java because Java is just such a horrible language. And um, I haven't touched Java for about two months because. Uh, I don't like the language. <clears throat> I will repeat that over and over again. No. Okay, so let's get this over with. You guys requested it, and here it is. I, I try my best to even explain it to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So let's try this. So, as I said, permission nodes. Nice thing in Java. And by the way, I haven't played Java for about two months either, so it's kind of a thing. And uh, I think Java 1.4.2 is coming out soon, so those tutorials are not going to get any more views pretty soon. So, yeah, anyways, let's get to this tutorial, shall we? Okay, so, we are, okay, I'm just going to explain a little. So, we are back at our old um, gold maker thing here, and I actually renamed it to Blockchanger two months ago. For some reason, I have no idea why I did that. I don't even know. But I renamed it, apparently. And what we're going to do now is um, we're just going to take a look at the code here again. So we added the block changer thing. So if you haven't watched my other tutorials, then you should do this if you have no idea what this is. Um, we basically just made it so actually it's going to read our commands and enable the plug in then whenever we have the uh, command uh, block changer. So yeah, we declared the command sender here, and the command sender is called sender here, so we can use the sender, and we have a playlist up here, I guess, of the, of the player, and the player's something in the Java thing, in the reference, uh, in the reference file, I believe. Okay, so let's get to this. So after, or right under our if the plugin isn't enabled, then of course we want to set the enable to true, but then that's not the only if state we're going to have because we're going to see if the player actually has a permission. So if the plug isn't enabled yet, and if the player has a permission, we want the plugin to be enabled, and we want the player to get a message that the plugin is enabled. Okay, so first we're going to add the permission, and this is going to work the same way as down here. So we're just going to put player sender dot and now we're just gonna not we're not gonna do send message we're gonna use has permission has permission and now we can actually get a name for this permission so I'm gonna call this permission uh, block changer so BC dot change block or or let's use let's use make oops use make gold or something like that and then of course we have to oh this is not C sharp I'm sorry my bad uh, Java. <clears throat> okay <laughs> so after our send measure thing we need another curly uh, okay so we have this if statement right here and now of course what we're gonna do if the player doesn't have the permission, so we're just gonna add a little else statement. We of course want the player to know that he doesn't have the permission, so he doesn't think like, oh well, uh, that's a bug or something. So we're gonna send him a message that he doesn't have the permission. So if we do that, we do the exact same thing again. Who would have guessed? So player sender dot send message. So really, this is a lot easier than you might have thought it is. Um. And we're gonna use our chat color here again. So chat color dot rat, since this is kind of an arrow, er, er, arrow, the arrow. Yeah, it's an arrow basically. Now it's an arrow, of course. And you do not have the permission. 
uh, to use that command. So we're just gonna send the player a message whenever he doesn't have a permission to use the command that he doesn't have the permission to do the command or to use the command. Well, genius, huh? Okay, so once we've done that, we actually need to change the plugin.yml file a little bit. And I don't know if it saved the last little bit I had in there. I don't know. Uh huh. Okay, it did change it. Uh, save it. Okay, so what we're gonna add right under our other stuff right here, we're just gonna need to put permissions, and then we have to put two spaces, and then we have to put another. So our permission node we added uh, right here. So the bc dot make gold is our permission node. Per permission node. So bc dot make gold. Cold. Make cold. Yeah, I want to make myself cold. Exactly. Make gold. And under this, we have we can use a description. So let's see. We want to describe that. So describe that. Uh, permission to use le command. And then we're gonna add the default. And this is actually pretty important. So in this tutorial, I'm just gonna explain to you how to just make it available for VOP, but in the next tutorials I'm gonna get a little bit into advanced things and I'm also going to show you how to change it to other blocks so the user can put a slash block changer and then iron or gold or something like that. So that's gonna be an interesting thing I think and hopefully I'm not gonna rage. So we can put the default so we could just put OP and that's it. So the default OP, the OP is the only person who can actually access our plugin here using the command block changer. Okay. Now we just need to save this and export this again. And we're done. Just follow the last couple of steps in the previous tutorial and you should be fine. That's it. That's how to add very basic permissions. Um I hope you like that. I hope it helped you a little bit. And if you need any other tutorials then just request them in the comments and I'm gonna continue posting Java plugin development tutorials. Um yeah. Okay guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.